watching another video in our fire making series. Uh, it's a nice sunny day out today, so I thought what I would talk about today was solar ignition. So what I'm going to use for that is my magnifying glass. Uh, I found this nice, nice tin. It's uh, for just for pellets for a pellet gun, but my magnifying glass fits in it really nice, and uh, it's a nice hard tin to protect it. So inside of there, uh, I usually keep it wrapped in a little piece of cloth. Uh, this is just to protect it, you know, from getting scratches on or whatever. And if it gets dirty, I can wipe it off a little bit. Uh, and then this uh, magnifying glass came in one of those uh, plastic, you know, like holders that you can hold it up. So I broke that off. So I put a little duct tape uh, around the edge of it here just to protect it a little bit better. Uh, now the thing, um, when you're using um, for solar ignition, uh, for a magnifying glass, you probably want to have a power, like a five times power or better. Uh, this is actually six and a half and it works really well. I just picked it up at uh, our local, uh, it was called Surplus City. I think Harbor Freight carries some things, uh, stuff like that. You can usually find some higher power magnifying glasses at places like that. Uh, and the whole key to solar ignition is to focus the sun's rays down into a real small pinpoint uh, to create some heat to ignite whatever you have underneath it. So what, what you can do is uh, you can you know move it back and forth side to side, move it in and out, you know tilt it back. Just whatever you have to do to get it down to uh, a real fine point. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video there, but it's actually smoking uh, just on this whole block. It's just been laying outside here and it's still started to smoke on it. So what we're going to do first is uh, I'm going to show you how to use some, a piece of char cloth uh, as your uh, to catch your ember to start your fire. So what I'm going to do um, is once I get this going and I'm going to put it, I have a, just a little uh, what I call a demo tinder bundle here. It's a little smaller than what you should have. Uh, you should have something you know softball size or bigger as your tinder bundle. For this demo, I just have a little one here just to show you. Because uh, it might be hard to see that this is actually glowing uh, and smoldering, but uh, you'll see once I put it in here, I can blow it into a flame. So, uh, one thing you can do, especially if you have something like this that you're just laying down, you can kind of focus your magnifying glass first so that you know about how you're going to have to hold it to get it to go. And then you can just kind of lay your material in there. You know, you just might have to refocus a little bit onto it. And you should be able to tell, once you get smoke going, um, it's usually, uh, it's already going. So, once you see the smoke, especially with char cloth, uh, you're probably good. You blow in a little bit and see that it turns red, so you'll be able to tell. But I'm going to put it into the center of my uh, tinder bundle here. It's going to taco it over, hold it above my head, and just start out blowing gently into it. And once I get it ignited, I'm not going to drop it right away, I'm going to let it burn a little bit and I'm going to turn it over uh, before I lay it down. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that was kind of it, especially with char cloth, it's real easy. I think you'll be... Uh, Surprised at just how quick that char cloth ignites when you have it underneath your magnifying glass. So stay tuned. I have some other materials that we're going to use with our magnifying glass to start a fire. 